A lot of us wonder how others perceive our bodies, and we're constantly comparing ourselves and our body types. Today we're asking 100 women to decide which person here has the best body. Every single person here submitted a full body photo for our online community to rank. Only one woman was voted best body. Let's see if they can find the one. For this round, the people who believe they ranked in the bottom 10 must exit. When you do leave, please exit by pressing the counter and stepping aside. Your time starts now. I honestly wish that society's viewing of like body types didn't change back from like the Renaissance era. Mm. My body shape is so like goddess shape. Right? Yes. Like, somebody will want me to pose for their painting in the Renaissance, yeah. you know what I mean? I did feel confident going in. The reason as to why is because I do have a more sought after body type. I have worked for my body, but however, I will not deny the fact that genetics are heavily involved. Also, when it comes to the society ranking us, I've had a lot of comments saying that people would buy my body or people do buy my body. So when it comes to that specific thing, I felt very confident. Like, I don't know that I necessarily feel so confident, like, oh, I have the best body, but I do know, like, objectively, do I get attention? Like, I know I do, so there's, like, a certain, like, objective to, like, what I think. I don't know. Uh, I'm Jennifer. Um, can you look at me, just the camera that's right next to me? Where what? This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Jennifer. When I got, when I first got here and I saw that everybody was, I was pretty much the oldest one here, I felt really out of place. Not necessarily insecure, but just the first feeling was just, I don't belong here. So when I was younger, I, I had like no curves. I was like super skinny. People call me anorexic or bulimic. And that's like not good in like the black community, right? You want to be like thick, right? You want to be curvy. You want something people grab on. But like as I've gotten older, I have gotten curvier. It's wrong. Yeah. It is. Uh, Sophie, I saw that you just left. Do you want to kind of explain why or share anything about that? Yeah. I've had a very tumultuous relationship with my body. I thought I could do this category, but the moment before we started filming, like I just, I started shaking and I realized I was just like, I don't really know what I look like to other people. And the idea of like talking about that was like a little anxiety inducing. So that's why I was just kind of like, I'll be the first one out. Like I just kind of wanted to sit this one out. Although it's very tempting to want to give in to this and open this envelope because that's something I'm so used to do is comparing myself to others, I am going to make the active decision to not look at it because I don't think it'll do me any good today. So I'm not going to open this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I look great and I'm so thankful for what my body can do, which has really helped me practice body positivity. Like, yeah. I'm mobile, I'm standing here, I can walk, I can hike, I can hike, I can swim. Yeah. I'm so grateful for it, but I know society doesn't view me that way. They view yeah. me as like, oh, put down the burger and right. go to the gym. And it's like, you don't know what I'm doing in my personal life. Yeah. Sam, I saw that you just left. Can you tell us why you did? Uh, yeah, so I don't necessarily feel like I fit into the standard of beauty that uh, people might uh, perceive is like attractive. Um, so I see where I have some qualities, but others I don't. When I look around this room, I see all of, like the beautiful attributes of every single like woman that is here. When I was uh, growing up, I had very poor self image. And in high school, I actually like used to keep a mental list of people around me of their attractiveness and how I rated on that scale. And I always rated myself super low and I noted that it was extremely um, detrimental to my like physical and mental health and I felt like uh, I've gotten really good about if something starts to trigger you you need to walk away so I felt uh, inclined to step back so that I could let everyone else have you know the stage to you know, rank themselves. My modeling agency, like, first, like, they, they my flight like, curves, I have curves, so I yeah. have to be a curve model, I have to be more plus size. Some agencies want me to gain more weight because they're, like, saying, like, I want your curves to show more. Yeah. And if I were to do the exact opposite, lose, no matter what, because I have a chest and, like, an ass. I could never be a, what's considered a normal model. Yeah, like, it yeah. Will never be that. It's either curve or normal. Like, right. <laughs> Jennifer, can you tell us about your thoughts of your body image through divorce, if you feel comfortable? Oh my, yeah, yeah, I'm an open book. Um, so it's not just the divorce, it's more just having to be an acceptance as you get older. Because it's not, I was talking to the girls, it's not just like how big you are. It's like I look in the mirror and I'm like, holy
there's there's wrinkles there or like my arms and it's just like and how men perceive me yeah. and so it's more like that and my my ex had said to me at one point it doesn't matter what you look like anymore at your age and that's oh, crazy wow. and I don't know if he meant it like good but there was too many other things that just still you know no he probably did mean it because like, yeah men get praised for ages yes and women yes their value goes down yes. yeah. I can I read people really well and so I'm like it was just this constant mirror, you know, yeah. or like going in the store now, single. Yeah. And when I was younger, men actually looked at me. Now I'm invisible. Yeah. I didn't realize how much I, I used to get hit on or I used to get looked at or just, you know, attention and almost that validation. And it just has like altogether stopped. And like I'm putting myself out there and putting myself out there, and which is great, but it's just you know, or even the last two years, because I've gained weight with menopause, and when I see people who haven't seen me, they're used to my old body, and the look of disappointment or the look of surprise when I see people, it's just, it's, it, it doesn't feel good, you know? And so for the body image thing too, I wasn't just thinking like, like most people were about weight. I was thinking about wrinkles. I was thinking about this bad haircut I just accidentally got. I was thinking about like more just, you know, that. And then if it's being judged by society, I was like, I'm out first, <laughs> you know, just because I, I haven't had a lot of confidence in that realm. Welcome to round two. In this round, we're asking you to leave if you believe your body is in the bottom 50. So that means 40 people need to leave. You guys have five minutes to leave the group. Your time starts now. I feel like I have been blessed genetically, but at the end of the day, when I went to college and I gained 40 pounds, I was like, I was the one that had to bring it back, you know? And I feel sometimes guilty for like expressing this in a way, but I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, like, especially when it comes to like my content creation, I've been hurt very deeply because I thought I was putting out content that people would ideal like people would aspire to be and then all I got was men <laughs> just being like so dirty and it's like I didn't expect that and now I'm trying to you know like change I'm trying to be more intentional with my content but it just sucks like it just sucks I guess. it just sucks <laughs> <laughs> like growing up, like people were always telling me, like you're so skinny, you need to eat. But I was eating, and I was like happy. But that made me feel like insecure, especially from being a dancer. And then now that I'm grown, like I kind of grew into my body, and I have a more mature build. And now people are like, oh, you're so curvy, like ooh, body. And I just don't know how to feel anymore, cause like people went from calling me a bone to like calling me curvy. So I feel like media is like also just like brainwashing everyone. I think about my arms every single yeah. second of the day. But like people will literally risk their lives to have your type your of body. Exactly. Literally yeah. fold this body people yeah. go and build it. And they're real. Everything is, there's no like, I'm not getting anything bad. I think I've grown so much more confident in how I look at my body now, which is why I was able to be confident in the fact that I'm at least top 10. I've struggled a long, for a long time with like, my weight and how I look and my proportions and whether my proportions are correct. But I've come to a place where I, I love every bit of proportion, every angle of my body now. Yeah, I, I, I think my body is beautiful. But my main thing about just having a bit of bigger body, um, it's really that I'm always gonna be negatively perceived. Because like growing up, I was pretty skinny and like never had to think about my weight. I could eat whatever I wanted, never thought about it. But then I hit like 19, 20 and I just started gaining weight. Every day I'm frustrated with myself. I did 10 years ago have a really, really bad eating disorder when I was in high school and I almost died. And it's not something that I feel like gets validated very often because people like think it's like such a non-issue to be worried about being too skinny. I think I have a pretty good sense of self-awareness and I know that I'm not necessarily what society deems as beautiful or has an ideal body type. I don't think that's a reflection of me though and how I view myself. So if it were a matter of who's the most confident in their body type, I would have stayed all the way to the end, but it's about how other people perceive us. And I just know realistically that there's obviously trolls online and people in America just have a different viewpoint of plus size women. So I decided to leave pretty early on.
Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. I think I submitted a bikini photo, so I knew I was showing everything that I have. Um, it's what I expect. It's, you know, society's standards, and it's, I'm not most people's ideal body type, and I think that's fine. Um, I think a lot of men vote in this also, and I have a fiance, and I'm a lesbian, so I don't really care what they think. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be all these views and I'm crying. My mama gonna get me. <laughs> I really thought I could have this conversation with y'all because I'm really a, a confident person to my definition. I go out in the world confident, knowing that I'm a child of God and I love people. But my relationship with my body is tainted and I'm a dancer and not a I express that when, like, through movements and somatic exercises that I love to move, but I am a victim of assault and rape, and I have more of a relationship with my soul than I do with my body. So to stand here and y'all are like, girl, my boobs are this and my butt is this, I don't know. I really have no clue. Like, I'm in the mirror, but I'm not really in the mirror. So I just admire all of y'all for being able to acknowledge your beauty because I know it's here because y'all see it but it, the acknowledgement comes from the internal so I just love that y'all are so open because it challenges me to go home and like interflect so I love y'all I can't recall even saying a word in the circle at all um I had a, like a hyper confidence before walking into the room, like this is gonna be easy, I can pretend. And I just couldn't get myself to muster out a single word or answer a single question. I, I walked away because I knew that I didn't have a relationship with my body because I couldn't even pretend that I did. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna open it because I think that, why not? I'd be wondering forever, right? Um, so what, it's, it's 75. So I was ranked 75th, so I wasn't in the bottom 10. Okay, well that's nice. <laughs> I feel like if I would have highlighted my boobs or like done something like that, or maybe it would have been different, but I really didn't want to do that because I feel like nowadays that's all I get attention for. But I am appreciative of this because that's cool, because I saw the beautiful women here, and there was, they were all young, 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 young. So I'm like, right away, I'm like, I'm definitely in the bottom 10, because yeah, there's no doubt about it. But like, so cool, thank you. We have one minute left, and we still need eight people to leave. So, those are the facts. <laughs> <laughs> so eight people, you gotta get, out. I wouldn't be doing this, so. Five more. Whew. Welcome to round three. Hey, quick question. Is it easier for you to build emotional intimacy or physical intimacy with other people? In other words, are you more emotional or physical? Not really sure? Take the love print assessment on the Nectar app to find out. You might surprise yourself. Now we're left with people who believe they have the top 50 most attractive bodies in the entire room. However, for this next round, we're asking you to leave unless you believe you have one of the top 10 best bodies. So, another 40 people have to leave. Your time starts now. Well, you're talking about how you work out, and I see those abs. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Your work is paying off. I love how petite you are. <laughs> I just want to put you in my pocket. <laughs> So much. I feel like everyone was like, well, I'm like thin. I'm like, okay, realistically, in a thousand strangers voting, they probably want like the curvier girl, I think. Some, but someone with a small waist, but, but, yeah. but skinny, so, but thick. Yeah. Okay, I actually want to say that I love that we're all melanated and we're all different shades and it's all beautiful. Yeah. I'm trying to feel better about myself and like gain strength and yeah. just not compare myself to others because I feel like. A lot of us have even said it, it's just like, 
we don't feel confident because we don't think someone else is gonna vote for us. And it's like, well, you should think that you're, just, just vote for yourself. I feel like, if anything, today should tell you that you should go into modeling. Yeah, yeah, you, you have, have the highest model. You have, you have the height, you have the body. So how's everyone feeling? Is anyone decided if they're gonna leave this round? I'm gonna leave. And I've decided only because I am still finding that love again that I had for my thick and curvy body. And I think definitely I need to get back to that because that's when I was my happiest and that's when yeah. I was my bravest. Right. And I want to be in the entertainment industry. I'm a Broadway girl. I want to be on Broadway and musicals and be perceived. And there will always be negative, like innately will be negative perception with my body. But I have to fight against it because yeah. you know, I have to like there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, guys, it looks like time's running out, so people need to start to leave. The people who were leaving didn't all look the same, so then I started to question myself a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I got bullied into staying at some point because everyone around me was like so encouraging, like, you can't leave. I got straight up told, like, you can't leave, you better stay. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Like, I, I know, I know I have a great body, I should be confident in it. Sorry guys, we still need 11 people to leave. Time is running up. Great, thank you. I think nine more people have to go. Okay, bye guys. One more person. I'd leave if I could. I'd leave if I could. There wasn't really a point where I thought I should leave the game today um, because of the fact that society does like want to have a similar body type of mine and I am very self-aware in that. So I did feel comfortable and confident to be there un until the top 10. Okay, now we're down to our final 10. Somehow we did it. <laughs> All right, everyone, we have made it to the final 10, but I just wanna say that I'm, I'm really impressed with everyone's bravery and that you all are so beautiful. So thank you for participating in this. You guys are the 10 that believe you have the best bodies in the entire room, but we do have to narrow it down to just one person. So one by one, let's go around the group and discuss who you would like to nominate to be the one. I would say that as of right now, like I would vote us all. I just know that America, they like curvy, they like the slim, you have both of that, so. Like, I feel like no body type is ever right, but like, if I was to go off of like, who people would vote online, I would say it was all as well. Thank you. Um, I think currently what is, you know, trendy is kind of a slim, thick body type, um, so I would say Sandi Siwe. As like, an African-American woman, it is known to be like curvier and it is kind of more on trend these days, so I'm gonna say Sandy. Yeah, I agree with what everybody's saying. Um, I think I would go with Sandy Seaway just because she has like the perfect body type. So. <laughs> you guys are like, you guys are gonna make me cry. Um, I mean, I don't really know much about American body standards. I didn't grow up in America. What I've learned over time is that American body standards are constantly changing. It's whatever's trending. Like you guys said, the slim, thick look is the thing which is also why I think, girl, I don't know your name, sorry. Wasal. Wasal. <laughs> Thank you. You, you, have, you have that thing. I also think that Wasal. Thank you. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to look at it as just what is never leaving, what is always in, and what is always going to be like treasured or valued. And that is why I'm gonna pick Ebb. Mm. I've never seen a body that is just so proportionate so I pick you. <laughs> I would say it's myself. Thank you. I think, like she said, um, Ebony has just a very timeless mm -hmm. physique, mm -hmm. but I think I just want to shout out every single girl here. They're all so beautiful. Everyone has fit the body standard at least at one point in their life right. and will continue to. It looks like you guys have reached a consensus and the person with the most votes is Wasal.
so everyone else can leave the group and it's time to find out if Wasal is the one. So how do you feel right now? I feel good. I feel <laughs> grateful. Um, I feel appreciated. And it's a weird thing being here because in the most, most, most humble way, I could say it makes sense. But I also have seen multiple women here that have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bodies that are also the standard to what society looks like. So that would also all make sense. But at the end of the day, like, I'm just happy to have a healthy body that moves and does what I need to do. And I'm just grateful. All right, you guys have made your choice. It's time to find out if Wasal is the one. All right, Wasal, if the light turns green, you are the one. And if the light turns red, it means that somebody else in this group is the one. Let's change the light in three, two, one. <laughs> If I look at it, do I have to show it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Lucky number 13. When I first got here, I looked around and I saw a sea of beautiful women with beautiful bodies. So I'm grateful to be in the top. I'm grateful to be in any part of it, so. Well, all so that means you are not the one. So let's find out who the one really is. So please step forward, Sandy Seaway. So Sandy Seaway, you were just named the one. How are you feeling right now? I see that you're kind of emotional. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of people here, I have a weird relationship with my body. Um, I grew up in South Africa, majority, like there's a lot of white people and I went to a majority white school. I wasn't the standard there. So that impacted the way I looked at myself for a long time. And I never thought I had like a desirable body until I, I moved here. And when I moved to the US, I felt so much love from like black women in the US. I stopped thinking about my thighs all the time. It used to be such a huge insecurity. I have um, an Audi <laughs> and I, I used to worry so much about like people being able to see my stomach. And it was like things like that where I started realizing some of like the things I didn't like about my body were just irrational. There were things that were beautiful, things that other people were seeking out. And instead of looking down on my body, I should be grateful for what I have. And the fact that I have a functioning body in the first place, and I have a body that I know is desirable. It, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for being here. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The One.